I found it interesting that Brandon Sanderson, who is now an instant millionaire, if he wasn't one already, from his Kickstarter, went after George Martin. And somehow this totally flew under my radar. Uh, no, no, I, I actually didn't hear about anything about this until you mentioned it to me before the show. Yeah, good on him for calling him out. He got upstart little uh, Sanderson there writing you know, a Stormlight Archive book every other year. And then all, oh, by yeah. the way, he wrote five other books in secret. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. I think Martin has his coming because as a fan of his, I've read all of the books. Of course, I've even bought his, you know, his compendiums of short stories. And I am a fan of his writing, but he taunts us with this shit all the time. And he talks about falling the uh, New York Jets who are a horrible NFL team but he's a fan of theirs for some reason so he follows them he talks about football all the time and he kind of puts it out there so he has to expect that someone like Sanderson will come after him especially when they passed on him to work with Martin who's already too busy to do anything I was looking into novels like Wheel of Time and Brandon Sanderson's book came up on Amazon for me I grabbed it and then I never got a chance to read it but from uh, what I hear he's an incredible author and Everyone's been kind of poo-pooing his uh, success as of late. You know, it's only because of his gender and his race that that he mm. got that uh, a stop. What was it? I think it was twenty-five million as of this morning. It had nothing to do with the hard work that he'd done. All the other books that he wrote. You know, also being a producer on a show for Amazon, whether or not I like it or not, he was. The thing about this with with Sanderson, like Nathan was saying, is he is a prolific writer. You know, this is a guy who is committed and delivers and then apparently, like Nathan said, has had so much creative energy and inspiration that he's written these four or five mystery books. And his street cred is such where all he has to do is that I can, I'm going to give you this, these great stories because that's what they are. They're not perfect. I don't think Sanderson is the greatest writer in the world. I think he's a pretty good one. But just because people, I think, are so starved for escapism, for the hero's journey, for recognizable archetypes that cross over and across cultures, that people just want that escapism. And if, mm -hmm. if streaming and the big screen isn't going to provide it for them they're going to go with a known trusted brand and invest in it the other thing too uh, i think you're, it's right on sanderson has an engagement with his fans you know whether or not you like him or not you know exactly what he's doing at all times you know he engages people on social media you go to his website you can see he has progress meters on all of his things that he's working on that he updates. So you know his progress on the next big book. And at, nothing's a mystery with Sanders Sanderson. Everything with George R. R. Martin is a mystery. And that's why Sanderson is so beloved among his fandom. Mar Martin's fandom is constantly frustrated. Sanderson's fandom, completely different story. And I think that's why, that's why I just looked it up. It's up to 29 million. You know, Are you kidding me? Why. Wow. Nope. Do you guys know, did he, and anybody in chat, did he drop details as to, I, I think he said they're in his, his major world. And, but other than that, it yeah. didn't sound like there were a heck of a lot of details that he gave out as far as character story, where this is going, anything like that. I think um, I can add to this, maybe frame it, because think about this as though Henry Cavill didn't get the job as Geralt because he was a fan of the series, of the games, and of the world, and so he petitioned for that job. And in this case, Sanderson, he's a big fan of the From Software games, he's played all of them. And so he knows their game style and their world, and they passed on him for someone who, who from what I've heard, is put together kind of a generic fantasy story for their game. It's nothing special. So I think that's where it's coming from. And I think that's, he's a fan and he wants to help make it better for all the other fans. And he got cut off. That's a lot of money. That's a lot mm -hmm. of money. And, and I think it speaks a lot to, that's not something that you, that, that isn't organic. Like that type of fan loyalty and commitment is organic. This Sanderson thing, it's interesting with George Martin, like Zach's talked about, like other channels have talked about ad nauseum with Martin not finishing his books. You know, I did a video about a year ago that said George R.R. R. Martin was doing a Game of Thrones Broadway musical. Like that's happening. 
That's what he's doing oh besides the Elden Ring. Like, how how could anybody make that up? I just, I don't know, man. Like others have said, just hire a ghost writer. Hell, hire Brandon Sanderson to write your books for you. At least you know he's going to finish it. Has ever. This is Salty Texas Sea. I am Corey DB. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you've seen and heard, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you on board. That way you know and we have things like live streams, which we are now going to be doing every Tuesday evening. Take care. I hope you're having a great 2022.